It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined with Matt. How are you doing, Matt? Matt's the manager at the Ship Hotel, but not only the manager of the Ship Hotel, we go right back, don't we? Way back. Way back. We grew up together in uh, in the little estate where we kind of... Over in Caddickston. Over in Caddickston. Um, then we worked together in a, a, a mobile phone company, First Line Mobile, and now you're the manager of the... I am. The Ship Hotel, which is a Green King pub. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad, to be fair, mate. Not too yeah. bad. Yeah, again, we're all ready for Christmas now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B- busy time. I'm here today to review the Rockin' Rudolph, wow. which is an amber ale. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely amber ale. We, it's intent, it tends to be the favourite ale. You now, if you're right, there's a second year on the bounce, it's come back yeah. out. So it's obviously doing well. Perfect. And that's about what? 4.5, something like 4.5%. that? 4.5%. Yeah. It's a good, good beer, to be fair. So it's, it's not, it's not one that will give you any harm, but at the same time, after a couple of them, you know that you're going to be jolly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It warmed me up for the walk home. Yeah, <laughs> but we're going to pair it today we've, we've for a nice turkey dinner as well, so we can see how well it goes for Christmas lunch. Brilliant, fantastic. Is that a um, all-year-round kind of thing, or is it just a Christmas? No, so we turkey? have a specialist menu, so we do turkey dinners throughout our festive bookings, and yeah. we also have some other specialist dishes on there. Um, or we do have a walking Christmas menu as well. So we've Brilliant. got a turkey, cranberry and stuffing pie, oh. which is phenomenal. Yeah. And then we've got the we've got it on the burger boom, so we've got a, a nice Christmas burger on there yeah. as well. So yeah. obviously following on soup, which is available as well on our buy one get them free on every yeah. Friday. Burgers are a big thing. Massive, mm. massive thing at the moment. Everyone's jumped on it. There has been a, a huge boom on them. Yeah. You know, the focus I think over the last year to eighteen months is as a company, you know, but it just it just proves a good result. People love burgers. Burger. Yeah, and, and they had to, I mean, you, we eat out a lot as, as a family, but they had to get wrong as well. You can it's go, a simple dish that yeah. you, you can use in so many different ways. Yeah. Whether it's just your plain or if you want to add all your bits and pieces on top Check of it. Chuck the hash brown in it. Smoky yeah. jacks or you want to go to it, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, do you want to pour us a pint of the Rock and Rudolph? We're going to have a look. Come on. It's got all the lights, all the bells and whistles to go oh, with it. Both the beer. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. Sign of a good point there. Yeah. 4.2% today. 4.2. We had a good nice, guess. Nice bit, bit of sweet taste behind it. Really, really good body on the beer as well. So when you're drinking it, you get on the, on the back of your palate as well as the sweetness is going down after the bitter. Yep. Really, really nice tasting ale. Brilliant. And it, I think a beer like this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really good seller, isn't it, for you yeah, guys? It's a celebration beer as well for, so, for Christmas. Yeah, that there. That looks fantastic. Great. Okay, so a massive thank you to Matt for sorting this out today for me. Uh, old friends, good old friends. Merry Christmas to you. Here's a look at the dinner. We got some, some cranberry, cranberry sauce, gravy boat. Yorkshire pudding, fabulous, pigs in blankets, roast potatoes, parsnips, peas, carrots, sprouts, cauliflower, green beans, love green beans, and of course some turkey. Should we dive in? We start off with the uh, the pig in blanket. Right, gravy boat, pigs in blanket. Beautiful. Good texture to the sausage. Bacon is crispy. That lovely streaky bacon they put on a pig in blanket. There's a look at the sausage. Very good, very good. My all time favorite. Brussels sprouts. Mm. Super, have a look at this. 
<clears throat> Super fresh, slightly crunchy, cooked to perfection. I really like my veg with a slight crunch to it, a slight, like not overcooked veg, just cooked, but with a, with a, a, a generous crunch, I like to say. Parsnips. Now this is one I can thank my wife for parsnips. I wasn't a, I wasn't a fan of parsnips for years, but my wife persisted with me with parsnips and with some gravy. Decent stuff now. They're quite. I always find a parsnip quite a strong kind of. I used to find it kind of overpowering, but yeah, a strong. What's the word? Organic, yeah, strong organic kind of vegetable taste. Old school vegetable taste. Rockin' Rudolph, 4.2% ABV, one finger white head, nice clarity to the beer. A good ruby kind of, a good ruby ale. <laughs> Nicely carbonated, malty, biscuity, bready, good stuff, good stuff. I'm a happy man today. I'm gonna to get this. I'm gonna get this gravy boat on the go. I think maybe we fill the. Should we do that? Let's fill the Yorkshire pudding up <laughs> with some of this gravy. If I was in my house, I would turn this upside down, and I would leave it on the side of the plate just to get them all of the. The gravy out the gravy boat. Right. Roast potato. Looks light. Fluffy. Yeah, cooked well. Cooked well. It seems to have a bit of... Um, a slight kind of turkey flavour on the roast potato. I'm all I'm a, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of using that kind of the fat from the meat to cook your potatoes. You a fan oh, of that, oh, Matt? Oh, coming yes. in, Matt. Are you a fan of that, mate? Where? Yeah. Let me let me move over. Coming in. Where they where they cook the the the, the meat with the potatoes oh, to get. I love that. Well. I was just saying that maybe you've cooked the potatoes with the with the turkey a little bit. To, to, to get more of that flavour. No, I think it, we use uh, McCain roast potatoes, signature roast potatoes. Right. So uh, they, they come in and we roast them in our uh, rationales. Yeah. So obviously it's a top brand, they're lightly seasoned already. Of course, yeah. So yeah. you literally, you pay for what you get there, you know, so good quality potato. We've yeah. marketed well by our food development team. Yeah. And we've been using them for over a year now and the difference in them is phenomenal. Really good, really. I was yeah. saying how fluffy they were, nice texture. And I, I like their shake shake fries as well. Yeah, you yeah. buy them with it. They're really good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. It's top round McLean and you know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. You know again. How are we going with the uh, ale? Oh, Amazing good. gravy. I, yeah. Um, I talked about the ale. Um, yeah. Nice malt backbone. Biscuity, bready. Good stuff. It was good to the meal, isn't it? Mm. This is This is Christmas right here, isn't it? Yeah. You know, good pints, good food. The weather's a bit rubbish outside. Well, that's Christmas again, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. Christmas in the yeah, UK. That's, that's all, that's all yeah. we're looking for. And this is just something hearty, nice kind of filling. Put a smile on your face. Exactly. You know, in, in the middle of winter. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I'll let you finish enjoy your meal. Enjoy the rest of your beer. Brilliant. Thanks. Nice Thanks, nice. Matt. Cheers. If you're in the Barry area, check out the Ship Hotel. Um, it's right on the it's right on the corner of Barry Island, actually. A place called the Old Harbour. Well, I, I tell you what I was really kind of impressed with with Matt there was the fact he was kind of like really honest with the fact that they've used 
um, McC McCain roast potatoes. Like I was convinced that the, the turkey was cooked with the with the potato. Really good quality. Talking about the turkey. There's a look at it. Oh, that's lovely. I'm really, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with this this dinner. Of course, we've done three so far. We've done uh, Weatherspoons, Toby Carvery, and and now the Green King roast dinner. And I would say this is right up there with the with the Toby Carvery. It's good, it's fresh. Looking back, I think just a just complete inexperience I suppose from my part. But the the Weatherspoons dinner although I really enjoyed it, just just going out and recording in, in, in a pub full of people was kind of a bit of an achievement in itself. Eating food in, in public, talking to a an iPhone whilst recording a, a, a food review. Was, I think I got caught up in the moment. Looking back, the meal wasn't that great. It really wasn't that great. And I think that will just come with experience with me going out and about recording these these videos, feeling more settled in environments, in, in public environments. I think that will come. But then, yeah, this is right up there with the with the Toby Carvery dinner. It's it's really good, really good. Turkey's lovely, right? Maybe a few Europeans, Americans out there. Let's get into this Yorkshire pudding. So a Yorkshire pudding is basically. Mostly cake mix, but they, they, they make it, it's a traditional Sunday kind of in, integral part of a Sunday dinner. With gravy and a bit of meat. Perfect. Veg, let's get around to the veg, green beans. Oh, hot. Green beans are hot and tasty. Bit of carrot. Oh. The carrot actually tastes like carrot. Um, sometimes when you go into a, a restaurant, it'll taste a bit like tin carrot, which is a bit watery and a bit bit nothing like but these these are really tasty carrots like they've just been pulled from the ground peas yeah we all know peas but they're nice again a nice crunch to the veg it's really important to get a good crunch on the veg to get the veg right. Overcooked, it's mushy. Undercooked, it's too hard. Get that kind of moist, but slightly firm, crunchy veg. Perfect. Last but not least. The cauliflower. Boiling hot. Boiling hot cauliflower, right. I say last but not least, there's actual cranberries. Look at that, there's cranberries in this pot. Cranberry and turkey, here we go. Oh. 
Mm. I can see why there's so many cranberry themed things going on at Christmas because it goes really well with turkey. I think this is the first time I've ever had cranberry sauce with turkey before in my life. Mm. It goes really well. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna finish it up with, with what my favorite is at this time of year, the, the winter vegetable of the year for me, the Brussels sprout. Fantastic. Rating. Mm. We'll do the beer first. The beer's got a really nice creamy kind of, when, you, when I eat food with beer, beer kind of, beer and food, beer on its own is great, but beer and food, it's, it just transforms, it just becomes something else. There's a lovely creamy depth to the beer now, after eating some of this food. Malty, biscuity, nutty, bready, nice hot finish on the back end. I like that beer, pardon me, enough to give it an eight or a 10. And the food, the food for me is just terrific. Absolutely terrific. I like the food enough to give it a stone of crows. That's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a give us a suggestion where you want us to go next. And cheers. A quick outtake. We didn't do too bad. We left a small amount of cauliflower, absolutely stuffed. Smash that in. Finish this pint now. Stone the crows. Cheers.